So this is the unit after being shampooed, conditioned, and somewhat deep conditioning. I have a whole process on how I revive hair that has been processed. So if you guys want to see that video, please leave a thumbs up. And I'm going to just take this leave-in serum by um Avon and put that all over the hair. And this ha I'm going to put a lot of serums and products in this hair because it has been bleached with a 50 volume developer which is like unheard of and crazy so yeah we're just gonna start by lightly blowing the hair out i did let it air dry for like 80 percent of the way and then i'm just gonna blow it out for the rest of the way and make sure you're using a brush that holds a vent brush that has holes in the back when you're doing this so the hair can blow out faster And to put those luscious wand curls back in the hair, I'm going to be using my Hot Tools Purple Wand. I got it at TJ Maxx for $20, bucks, 19 dollars and I'm going to be using some Bio Silk in this hair. We all know Bio Silk is life, so I'm not going to explain why I'm using it. And I'm also going to be using Fantasia Spritz, my favorite spritz, to also help hold those curls in the hair. I also did spray the hair with a little heat protectant because, like I said, it is already fried. So I'm trying to take as many precautions as possible to keep the hair from frying even more. And I did style this hair on the highest heat, which is 450, I believe. So for each section that you take, you want to just make sure that the product is combed through. You don't want that spritz just sitting in one space. And when winding the hair, you want to twist your wrist and actually wind the hair or wind the wind while you're curling it. And make sure you hold it for a good 10 to 20 seconds. And when pinning this hair up, you can use duck bill clips, any clip that you could get. But I'm just using regular bobby pins. And you just can use that to hold the curl in place so the curl can cool. You want your curls to cool for longevity. The hair becomes really hot from the styling product. So you want your, cool, your curls to cool down and actually set. And that is the key to having long-lasting curls. Letting your curls set in one space and have them pinned up. When you get to the top, make sure you have a piece of the closure covering the tracks in a bag and have those together so it can be seamless. 
and I don't know the proper name for these pin curls because these aren't like the normal flat ones. We learned how to do these pin curls during parade season in high school. And they're not the normal pin curls that they teach you in um, beauty school because those are flat on the head. But these actually stick out like I call them roses. We could call these rose curls. And don't worry, every single curl does not have to come out perfect. Time is of the essence when styling hair. So once you take that one off, pin that curl and keep going. Do not go back over it because when styling hair, you have to be time manageable. So every curl does not have to come out perfect. And I'm just going to take my Tresemme spray, my holding spray. Um, This is a four out of four. Shout out to the bums that be around my grandma house because my grandma did get this spray hot for me. Thank you, grandma. <laughs> but no, y'all, some girls really do leave this along with these, with their hair pin curl like this, which is a great way to preserve your curls if your your event is not later until later. And I'm just going to take these curls down. And this is the most important part of the whole process. Girl, don't mind my little dance in the back. But yeah, styling. If you cannot style the hair, then your highlights, your curls are just going to turn out poo. So I really was going for more of a beach wave type of look, which I should have used a flat iron to do those types of curls. And these curls are super tight. This looks like somebody got a fresh roller set. Like if you are a black girl with good natural thick hair and you just got a blowout with a roller set, this is exactly what this looks like. 
but I'm just using this wide tube comb that I got from Dollar Tree. But to get those loose curls, use a powder brush to brush the curls out in style. Use a brush. So this was my first time doing highlights on a wig, y'all. I did struggle a little bit with this process, and you probably saw that throughout the video. But we're all human, so please comment below and let me know you guys' opinion on this style. And remember to stay unique and love your individuality.